More women have come forward with allegations against Bill Cosby, one of which is actually the wife of a celebrity, Lou Ferrigno. Now, uh, let's start off with uh, one of the latest accusations. It's by a woman by the name of Ther uh, Therese, and she apparently met Bill Cosby while she was in Vegas at a gift shop. She alleges that he approached her, and she was obviously very young, and asked her if she was interested in going to see his show. She said, of course I'm interested in seeing your show. That sounds great. She goes to see the show. Afterwards, she alleges they go to uh, an after party together. And while she was at the after party, she says that she took some pills that he had given her. She was also drinking. Um, now, she didn't ask any questions about the pills. She just trusted his judgment, which was probably a really bad idea. But nonetheless, she took the pills, and here's what she had to say to the press. I took them, didn't know what they were, didn't even ask. I was just intimidated, and then I took them. And then the next memory is feeling drugged and him having sex with me. Now, the second person who came forward recently is Carla Ferrigno, the wife of Lou Ferrigno. And she says that she had actually gone on a double date with Bill Cosby, his wife, and Bill Cosby's friend. After the date, they were playing uh, pool, and all of a sudden, Bill Cosby's wife disappears, and she's like, hey, where did your wife go? And allegedly, Bill Cosby told her, oh, well, she's probably tired, she went to sleep. She thought that was a little strange, but she ignored it. And then she continues playing pool, and all of a sudden, the guy that she was out on a date with also left. Here's what she had to say. Pretty soon, I noticed that the guy disappeared, and I asked where he went. He told me probably to the bathroom. Things really seemed odder now. We kept playing. Bill beat me at billiards. And just as I was ready to put the pool cue down, he came forward at me. I thought he was reaching for the pool cue, but he came at me and grabbed me in such a powerful way, grabbing me. And then he kissed me so hard, right in the mouth. No one was ever that physically violent with me. I was stunned, I was frozen, I took all my body strength and used both of my arms to stop him and pushed him away from me. He was so forceful. And apparently he had also offered her a, a drink and she refused it and she feels like she got really, really lucky because all, it, all that had happened, according to her, was that he had kissed her forcefully, okay? Now the third person who came out recently uh, is a woman by the name of um, Angela Leslie. She uh, was an actress and a model. According to her, here are her words, if you want to act, show me what you've got, pretend you're intoxicated. And then she says, I couldn't drink it, referring to the alcoholic beverage. I tasted it and put it down. Then he asked me to go into the bathroom and wet my hair. I walked back out and he had removed his clothing and gotten into bed. With his hand on top of mine, he had me massage his penis. He masturbated with my hand. I wasn't pulling back. I was in shock. And then she said, I didn't drink the alcohol, and maybe since I didn't pass out, he decided to get rid of me. Right. So that was the end of that oh, situation. Man, this so, guy. He is. Um, uh, wow. Do you have Louisa Moritz? I do not. So there this are more what, allegations so it since. sounds to me, like, I don't know, in that first one, that first story, it sounds like his wife. Yeah. I, I, can I say that? I'm, I don't want to know if I'm supposed to well, say you're anything. you're speculating, but you can say it if so you're speculating. I think people would listen to that story. I think other people, not me, <laughs> would listen to that story and speculate that seems like that other guy was in on it. He didn't say goodbye. Yeah. And then she somehow, like, in, I mean, if he's that crazy, she had to, you know what I mean? Like, you can't. So a lot of questions. A lot of questions. Yeah. I, and yeah. un unlike Whoopi Goldberg, I don't want to have the rape victims questioned. I would like to question his wife, and I would like to question him. That's who I want to question, Bill Cosby and his wife. So, like, all that happened, all, it was clearly traumatic to Carla Ferrigno. Lou Ferrigno, by the way, when she told her husband about it, well, he got very angry. Oh! Um, the, uh, yeah, green with angry. <laughs> yeah, move. Um, but he, uh, he said, don't shut up. Like, it's not, this is not a battle that you want to fight. I mean, I assume he was supportive, mm -hmm. but he was like, I don't. If you don't, if you don't, if you're not really committed to this, don't say it. These people have obviously come forward now because they see other people telling the same story, and there's the protection in numbers. Louisa Moritz, this one's most shocking. It, they're all shocking. The, the pattern is amazing. What he did to Angela Leslie, the attempt to act drunk and the constantly drugging people and women don't remember and they're waking up in their cars with their bras disfigured and different clothing on. One woman woke up in a shirt that wasn't hers. Um, but Louisa Moritz says that she was on The Tonight Show. She was a guest on The Tonight Show. I think she was in uh, uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And she was a guest on The Tonight Show with Cosby. And uh, he, so there, she's going on Carson's Tonight Show Cosby comes into her dressing room. She said he told her he was impressed with her work and implied he was going to see to it that I become a major star through his direction. Oh. That's what she told TMZ. Suddenly Cosby approached and took out his penis, which was now in the oh. line of my face, 
and pressed up against it. He took his hands and put them on the back of my head and forced his penis into my mouth saying, have a taste of this, it will do you good in so many ways. Before walking out of the room, Moritz recalls Cosby saying to her, now you don't want to upset me and the plans for your future, do you? Although the statute of limitations for any sexual assault committed in 1971 would have expired, Moritz told TMZ she does plan to file a civil lawsuit against Cosby. And she's 68 years old. So, yeah, okay, she's filing a civil suit and may, maybe she'll get money and maybe I'm sure that's what people will say about her. It's a very specific story from somebody at 68 years old who I tend to believe. And Renita Cheney Hill and Christina Ruilly are two more women who've come forward today. So. You know, it's it fits the profile. You know, I've often said that. The, you know, oh, I haven't said it, but I've repeated. The silent sinners scream the loudest, right? So, when he, the fact that he's a one of the most prominent uh, African American entertainers in the history of the United States, and he's revered and loved, and then he goes instead of like sticking up for the underclass and talking about institutional racism and police brutality and how we're taking away the vote from black people by making them felons with stop and frisk. We're turning a generation of blacks into criminals that were doing the same things that what, instead of, he didn't say any of that, he goes the other way and he becomes a Bible thumper and starts, you know what I mean? And in a sense, a Bible thumper and starts to moralize against those people, just like Hannibal Burr said in his comedy routine that, and uh, uh, that's exactly fits the profile, right? Again, and if you're going to be a rapist, you go around telling everybody, keep just like that uh, Ted Haggard, right? The Ted Haggard, the, 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 the mm -hmm. evangelical. Of, co of course, those guys have to scream the other way. And that's why Bill Cosby was that kind of a guy. I mean, I can't stress enough how much I hate this story, but to your point, you know, there's the famous story that Eddie Murphy did in his stand up mm -hmm. where Bill Cosby called him and yes. said, stop saying the N word. We, you know, we shouldn't be seen that way, and you're just, you know, pushing this stereotype. And if you really think about that, I mean, it's it's illustrating exactly your point. Like, think about what Cosby probably was doing secretly, and what he was railing against was Eddie Murphy saying the N word. But <laughs> yes. I'm sure someone has also brought this up. But I'm sure someone has said this. But you know, remember during the Cosby Show, I think maybe in the fourth or fifth season, mm -hmm. when Lisa Bonet went to do that yes. movie. Remember she went to do some R-rated movie with, with, with and she was going to be topless or 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 then there was going to be a magazine. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Angel Heart and there was going to be a magazine spread also and then he had this huge blowout with her. Cosby had, so think about the the disconnect between the rhetoric, which I guess goes to your point of, of why mm -hmm. politicians do this and why Larry Craig is against gay marriage while he's getting sucked right. up in a bathroom in Minnesota. It's, wide berth. Wide berth. He has a wide berth. I'm, gotta, wide stance. Gotta, I know stance. Anna, we, we got to move on. Wide stance. Sorry. Uh, I thought he said wide berth. No stance. Um, the, um, That's something else. So I just, because the last woman said she would file a civil suit, I just want to bring up one of these women who came up today because her story is telling and she is now 71 years old, mm -hmm. says it happened when she was 22 in 1965, working as a secretary at a talent agency. He invited her to a party, proceeded to pour me some bourbon, she told Philadelphia Magazine. She was, by the way, one of the John Doe's, Jane Doe's, back in 2006, and now she's come forward. Yeah. So she was telling, she's been telling the same story for nine years at least. And really quick, uh, sorry mm -hmm. to inter interrupt, yeah. but the Jane Doe's are relevant because these were 13 women that were supposed to testify in a, a, a trial against uh, Bill Cosby, but a they civil, never, a civil, a civil trial, yeah, a civil suit, I should say, against Bill Cosby, but they were never able to do so because in 2006, he actually settled out of court for an unspecified amount. With Andrea Constand. Yeah. These are all people from her suit. Um, she says, it was all fun. Uh, he, I drank a seven and seven bourbon that he poured for me. I couldn't really hold my liquor. I'm Irish. Uh, I could really hold my liquor. She says she could. I'm Irish. Uh, and I had a couple of times, just two, and then I just don't remember much. So she had a couple of drinks, just two, and then I don't remember much. She now believes he drugged her. It was all foggy. I woke up in the bed. I found myself on the bed. He had his shirt off. He had unzipped his pants. I was just coming to. He was attempting to force me into oral sex. He had his hand on my head. He had his cock out, and he had my head pushed down close enough to it. And this is why she's not lying. I just remember looking at his stomach hair, at the hair on his chest. I had never seen a black man naked before. And it never went past that. I immediately came to, and it was immediately very sick. I pushed myself away, ran to the bathroom, and threw up. That person's not lying. That, that person is not telling a fake story. <laughs> it just isn't. Well, I find the Irish part offensive. <laughs> <laughs>